Hello everyone. I'm very excited to share with you, or to start, the Alpha Omatics podcast, where we discuss the mysteries of this universe and uh, well, how to utilize them in bettering our lives. Now, this is this is going to be a podcast about how functionality, how we can take the powers that be, and the, the secrets of miracles, and all those other really really cool things, really fascinating actually, and utilize them to. Utilizing to change our lives, to heal our bodies, to advance our uh, our, our motivation. If we if, if we can overcome any mental disease, if we can overcome any ailment, any dis- any uh, physical condition, then truly, what would stop us? Right? We'd have the ability to break through any barriers. Well, this is what, I'm, what I want to discuss in this because I found these secrets the most beneficial in my life. The better my relationships with my wife, the better my relationships with, uh, you know, the better I actually you, you use these to heal my own family. So I'm going to start with the very beginning. My mother got very, very sick not back in 2019 where she was dying from, from this condition that was uh, killing her. I don't want to go too much into the details of it, but it caused her nervous system to attack itself. It was actually causing her body to uh, fall apart. Her muscles would... Uh, her, her uh, nervous system would attack her muscles and would cause it to uh, wrench on her, her, her body with a, 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 a force that would be strong enough to actually break bone if we hadn't restrained her body. So we had to physically restrain her long enough to, to uh, be able to get drugs into her to actually protect, to you know, preserve her life. Now, it was a, a journey for years of her being on drugs and everything to actually get, get to the point where we could, um, she'd be stable enough to Actually, no. It was a, a journey after she was she was on drugs for two, for about two years, two and a half years at the end total. But about two years in, the, the doctors were telling me to give up hope on her, and I didn't, I couldn't give up on my mom. So I decided that I had to go and find answers. And I believe that you know God guided me on the on this journey to find those answers, and. On that journey, I discovered many of the truths of this universe and how to apply them to our lives. After about five months, five, six months of uh, looking for those answers, I actually believe, believed I had the, the everything I needed to be able to help her. And I went to her, and we only worked with her for a few days. So it was a few weeks. And she, she was able to walk in for the first time in two years. She stood up. For the first time in years, she was gardening again. She was doing laundry. She was playing with the kids. She went from being paralyzed in absolute agony at every moment of her, of her day to being free and healed. And I know these things, these, uh, these truths can benefit all our lives. Now, I feel like we should start from the beginning. If so we have to break down a lot of the ideas that we've had in the past, because those if those ideas don't serve us, well then there's no point to them, right? So what I discovered is this war is this entire world operates on law. Everything has a law. Everything functions in perfect or- order. I mean, there's so much um, symmetry, so much beauty in the way our universe functions. Every planet has a perfect like gravitational pull that er- that make keeps everything in balance. I mean, our bodies are so infinitely complex, right? Right now, in our body, trillion, tens of, uh, there's uh, about 50 to 70 trillion cells, and just just working as one. It's an organism that just flows. But in those tens of tri- uh, 70 trillion, 50 to 70 trillion cells, tens of millions of those cells are dying every day, actually. And then tens of millions of cells are being replaced every day. Every breath you draw in passes enter, passes that oxygen to all, all the cells of your body. Your body's just feeding it. Your body's just operating the system. Every day your heart is pumping over 100 gallons of blood just through the, all the veins of your body, through miles of veins, feeding it to all, all your cells again. I mean, you are, your body is functioning in these in, innate and incredible ways. There's just so much order and just uh, fluency in this world that you'd have to wonder how and if it can do all that what else could it possibly do so this world is function functions on laws and principles 
and that this entire universe does anyway. And if we can access some of those laws and have understanding about how they work, I mean, we could use them to change our lives, right? At least that makes sense to me. And so I've actually used these in my own life. So after healing my mom with these with these truths and techniques through working with her, I realized we could heal all many more people. So how do you get to the point where you heal? Well, I'll start with the point, how do you get to the point where you're sick? Well, the laws of the universe are, are in perfect balance, right? So there's the, the planets. I mean, if, if they were even a little out of sync, I mean, they'd start to pull and, and improperly against each other. And after only a matter of, you know, just eventually over time, they would crash, right? Because you put them out of balance. Now, the gravity isn't holding them in perfect symmetry anymore. So now they're gonna they're, they're gonna fall out of the out of their perfect resonance. But this is the same for us. If our minds are not in perfect symmetry with ourselves, well, over time, we're gonna crash. We're gonna develop a disease. We're gonna our bodies are not gonna be able to function properly. Now there will be symptoms of this and little signs on the way, of course. But the point is that if you're out of balance with yourself, with who you are, then you're gonna crash. You're gonna get, you're gonna break down. Your body's not gonna be able to function perfectly. And I don't really like that idea, but if you bring it to balance again, your body could then reorient, reorient, or orientate itself back into a healthy mindset, to a healthy uh, form. And so what are the laws about our being, right? Well, if we, see ourselves as a uh, low, as uh, insufficient, as weak, and we don't trust ourselves, and we don't work with ourselves, we don't see ourselves as valuable. Well, by that very nature, then, we're going to be breaking our own bodies down. Because every thought you have is a signal to your body, a signal to your being. How you see yourself actually matters in many, many ways. If you see yourself as low as as like as dirt as rags, and or you just you see yourself as as a, a scapegoat for everyone else as a punching bag, then your body isn't going to take care of itself. In fact, when things like inflammation and tumors and other conditions and bacteria show up in your life and start causing you problems, you'll see it as part of you. Your body won't even actually fight it because it's part of your self image. As part of how you see yourself, as a result of it, so your body actually doesn't even attack the cancer cells that are welling up in your system because it sees it as part of itself. If you want to overcome those the inflammation, that those the arthritis or whatever it may be, you have to actually start identifying yourself with a greater law of love. You have to see yourself. You have to boost your self-esteem as you increase the, the value you see in yourself. That alone starts to open up wonders and new doors in your life. You begin to have a vitality within because your body starts to see yourself as valuable, as worthy, as worthy of love, as worthy of life. And as you start to just embrace that new function, that new identity, you start to heal. There's a really good quote out there that you will never change. You are the same person that got, got paralyzed and, and got stuck inside the chair. Will not get out of the chair because you you can't get out of the chair if you're still having the same thoughts. You're still following that same law. The law is if you see yourself as negative and weak, and uh, and you you just see yourself as, as unworthy of getting up. You don't feel you're worthy. Then you'll never be worthy. You never, but your body will never respond properly. But if you begin to feel like a hero, like a, like a power, you feel powerful, you feel strong, you feel vibrant, you like yourself. I mean, you just just say that every day. I like myself. I like myself. I like myself. Use it as the as the fuel for your engine to pump through your life. Because you know you're gonna if you continue to just like yourself more, you'll actually benefit your life. I mean, if you and some people. Which say this, and you know, it can happen for most people actually. They say, I like myself, you might not like yourself, which might be difficult to overcome. But if you continue to hold with it, continue to 
bring up the mountain. You like yourself. You love yourself. You see the vitality and the joy and all the other good stuff about yourself. Then you, know, you feel good about yourself. When you feel good about yourself, you like yourself more. When you like yourself more, you like others more. And when you like others more, they like you more because, hey, you're, you're more kind. You're more genuine. You're more just full of life. You're a more magnetic person. You per, your personality just draws them in. And the very act of having those high upbeat personalities will always start to draw in more life. And it has, but it has to be genuine. I know a lot of people who who act like they you know they, they showed off being really joyful and everything, but they still got conditions. Why? It's because they they still had those deep down, um, deep down they were hurting. Deep down they didn't see themselves as in the same light. I mean, you can be super kind to others. My brother was an angel to everyone else. But she was super harsh on herself. But if you don't love yourself, I mean, then you're you're just gonna have to be fall into a pit. You can't you have to take care of yourself first. I mean, as the scriptures actually say, love thy neighbor as thyself, but I think that's also a meditation on loving thyself. I mean, how can you love your neighbor as thyself if you don't even love yourself? You mean you have to look to you first. You're important too. You're incredible. I mean, there's a power flowing through your life, through your being, that if you're able to access, then you there's almost no limit. I believe it to be a fact that the powers of man, the powers inside you, are there. I mean, I've seen miracles in my life in so many ways, and I know that you can too. These are, it's not just a, some magical thing, it's a fulfillment of a law. If I'll give you a little practice real fast. If you can hold the thought, and just turn on the thought, say, I like myself for 17 seconds. Try it for 17 seconds a day. Tell yourself how much you like yourself, and the very act of just telling yourself how much you like yourself, how healthy, how strong, and you, how you love being vibrant, just speak some positivity to your life. If you can, hold that and say it again throughout the day. Just anytime you have a negative statement, really, reverse it immediately. And you'll start changing your life. And you'll be thinking, wow, I suck. And like, no, I don't. I'm incredible. I like myself. I love myself. I'm incredible. And the very act of just doing that, catching all those negative thoughts, Gives you the strength to overcome them. And I just, just give it a shot. If you try it, it, it might just work out. It might just start making you more healthy. It might just start giving you more energy. And you say, I'm tired? They're like, no, I'm vital. I'm energetic. I can feel strength flowing through me. I mean, you might not actually feel it right then and there. But if you just start to reprogram your mind, for say, until you get to the point where you, you do like yourself. You do feel energetic. I mean, the thought has to follow the feeling first. It's a thought is the first step to changing your life. Change your thoughts, and you change your life, is what they say. Give it a shot.